Hey gang, how are you? This is Mary Ellen coming to you from my new little digs. Those of you that have been following along, you know I just moved and I'm just finally coming off a hiatus. So we're going to jump into your love reading, beautiful Capricorn. Just wanted to show everybody where I landed. How cute is that? I've been given a really sweet place to be for the next year while I recreate myself and my life. Very exciting. So Capricorn, let's jump right in. There are a lot of um, very important indicators, cards. Okay, my guides are talking in the background. Hang on, it's, sometimes I have to cut them up. Uh, oracle cards is what I'm talking about. They're talking about the indications of the oracle cards. So we have the ancient ones. Your seventh chakra is wide open. You are communicating with somebody on a love, about love about your desires, about what you want. You're looking into the light. Somebody, for many of you, is at a distance. This is distant shores. And then we have this, this notion of being a little bit in suspended animation. You're dreaming and working to bring forward what it is you think may be possible. So this is your baseline reading, your life path reading. It's extremely important. All the love readings are based off of this. I'll put a little eye in the sky thing up there. When you're done watching this, click it and watch it because you're gonna understand your love reading in a very deep way. When you understand what's going on with you, that's the 10 of cups. You've got two aces and the sun card and you're dreaming, imagining your harmony. And look, just look at the indication of what's being activated. That's the room for opening, okay? Something's going on, Cappy. We're talking about you and yourself, but we're all also, we're gonna talk about love. So, Cappy, you've been considering something for a while. Both of these cards came out in your baseline reading, your life path, your quantum energy reading, your star seed transmission. So as a star seed transmission from the universe, that's what you are, how do you love? What do you love? What do you want to create? You've been working on something for a long time. The Queen of Cups contemplates her cup. She's wondering, should I take the top off of my cup? For this thing that's coming forward, for many of you it's been coming forward for a long time, or you've been working on making sure that you're doing your own path so that you can create the love that you want in your life and be ready and able to accept it. So I think clearly there's somebody you're going to come across, somebody might be standing there and it might be giving you a moment of pause. You might be thinking, oh boy, is that it? Look at that. Look at that in a way that's kind of a little bit incredulous. So I'm gonna shuffle up the cards, we're gonna look more deeply. Um, beautiful Cap, we're gonna look at you, we're gonna look at your beloved, we're gonna look at the energy of the relationship itself and what it's bringing into your life, okay? So just uh, so everybody knows, the calendar for my readings is open again. There are going to be spots are gonna be more towards the evening and aren't able to serve everybody, I can do it now because I'm in a place that has unlimited electricity. Okay, so I think, yeah, there's a little bit of hold up. There's a little bit of slowdown. Just want to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. So that's going to be reopened by the time this publishes. From now on, I'm going to do a little short reading, and we're going to do the full reading on Patreon. The link for that is below. It's a very modest donation. Please uh, join us there, support my work, so I can keep going. Let's see, the meditation classes. Look at that. I just want to show you something. They're going to open in October for an eight-week session. You see that? That's the I am source of the universe. The male-female of your relationship with yourself. Really beautiful vibrational meditation. Inviting everyone to join along with, thank you, Spirit, along with the manifestation circle that's going to start in the same time frame, I think sometime in October, actually. Boy, September's creeping up fast. Spirit, what is it that we could know about Capricorn's loved one? Now that we know a little bit about Capricorn, what are they doing? Where are they? Who are they? Tell us something. Yeah, they're in a place, wherever they are, whatever, whoever they are, their world is also changing, Capricorn. Something is happening. Something very mystical is coming forward. And whoever this person is, somebody's going to offer you their cup, okay? And what the, okay, my guides are telling me this way. I'm thinking it can go either way because, you know, when your life changes, the first cup you have to offer is the one that you're offering to yourself. 
so that you can give yourself love. So they're in some kind of a change process. You've been in it. You're definitely in it, Capricorn, if you understand this. Yeah, look. Here's the, here's the relationship. Something is moving forward. A lot of messaging. When you come, when you find each other, and please understand, the widest aspect of the words are meant to be given to you to help you understand. Some of you might be married for 25 years, but suddenly comes a moment when you rediscover yourself, you rediscover your partner. There's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of love messages. You might be getting text, you know, flirty text messages. Somebody might reveal themselves to you and say, look, I've been holding it. I can't hold it anymore. I need to move this forward. I'm completely infatuated, you know, whatever, however it is. Or can we meet for a cup of coffee? I just, I want to be with you. That's what this is. Moving forward into the intention, into the messaging. That's what's going on between you and whoever this beautiful person is. So something quite lovely is emerging. I want to see, yeah, look, something coming into balance. And I think this is, in a certain way, it could be right there. This is what's coming into balance. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me a little something more about this beautiful relationship. What is it? The energy between these two individuals. Spirit, can you please tell us? What is Capricorn? Okay, my guides are telling me I just went past it. I know exactly what they're talking about, so I just want to show you. It's this. You see how the cups are melding together? Going down the, cold, the golden path, one foot on the earth, one foot in the water element. Love. Water represents love flow. And your and your partner being, you're energetically being blended together in the angelic realm. That is why the two of pentacles, the notion of coming into balance is here. So again, we're gonna go forward and look more deeply into this, but look the three of wands. So join us over on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Always remember to click the, the like button for any person when you visit their channel on YouTube. Please thank them for the effort that they put in, whether or not you resonate with their style, their reading, whatever it might be. Let's just create a love vibration together in all the simple ways that we can do it. I would appreciate it. All the links for me are below if you want a personal love reading. I really enjoy those. So I'll look forward to seeing you over on Patreon. And... If not, we'll see you in October. Thanks, Cappy. Enjoy the month. You got some beautiful love aspects coming forward.